Hello and welcome to another Bruin Sports Source live broadcast for the Bruin Sports. I'm your co-host Xavier Rogers, joined by Scott Vermeer, and uh, we got a real treat for you tonight. This is the first time that we have ever live streamed Lady Bruin softball, um, and this is going to be uh, spring softball, so it's slow pitch softball. Um, so that's also another first. So our first batter stepping up now. Starting ball. Swing and a strike. We got a one one pitch coming up here. And who do we got on the mound today? We got Ali Scalal on the mound today. Oh, nice hit. Line drive right to the pitcher for an out. First out of the first inning. That's good heads up play by the pitcher to be exactly where the ball was hit. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it would be a ball for Scalal. A little bit outside there. That's a good pitch. Oh, no, a little. Yeah, he gave it a strike. All right. Ooh, keep going on. Hit the third base. Quickly and to first. beats it. All right. Second out. All right. It's a nice, fast-paced game so far. Yeah, two up, two down. Pretty decent pace. I don't remember uh, slow pitch softball whenever I played it being this uh, exciting so far. I don't think I've ever seen slow pitch softball. Yeah, the only time I've seen it, it was a bunch of old guys playing it, <laughs> like me, so. It's easy for us older gentlemen that don't move quite so well to uh, participate in and enjoy. Right, that's a 2-0 pitch. Oh, swung on hit to left field. And looks like uh, Kenzie Denny is going to be able to catch that and get us out of this inning. Moving on to the bottom half of the first. Teams are switching out, and Bruins will be taking the offense or the defense. Uh, Bruins are going to be on offense now. Oh wait, my bad. We're batting. <laughs> <laughs> I had it right the first time. All right. So while we're switching out, let's take a look at the lineup for tonight. So it looks like we're going to be starting off with Matty Shire, uh, Ali Scalal, and Lexi Dureo, and then possibly some additional Bruins uh, if they can get on base. Having a nice look at the Pirates over here warming up. Looks like they're Pretty decent sized team. Nice throws by the pitcher here. Seems to be pretty dialed in. We'll see how our, our batters do against that. Coming up to bat, Maddie Thea. Or Shia. Shia. Yeah. See how Maddie does. I'm predicting it's going to be a nice little base hit here. Thinking down the middle or off I'll to the side? I'm thinking right between pitcher and second base. Mm -hmm. Some ball way outside. I think she's going to hit that gap right there and hit it out more towards right center. Nice little gap. Oh, straight to the shortstop. Got an error. Ooh, she and saved. they got her out. Oh. Got her out. Close, but not close enough for the Bruins. Lady Bruins. <laughs> All right, so now we got the pitcher, Allie, coming up. Allie Scalal. Let's see what she can do for the team here. First pitch is in. A little long. Good ball. One pitch. Oh, she wanted a piece of it, but she decided not to swing. So now we got the one-two coming up here. Oh, 
swings. Oh, shot mm. directly to third. Great athletic play by the third baseman. Moving on to our third batter. We got two outs so far in the bottom of the first. Third batter, Lexi, Lexi Rao. Rao, yeah. Oh, shoot. Oh, she Went straight out up. field. But it looks like it'll be caught by a shortstop. All right. And we are out of the first inning. Wow. Three up, three down for both. Quickly to the second inning here. All right. So while, while we're moving on to the second inning, let's take a look at the uh, our defensive positions out there and see where everybody's at. Um, so starting uh, at catcher, we got Matty Neighbor. And we already said on the on the mound we got Ali Scalal. So we got first base Savannah Alden, and uh, our second base Lola Reddington. Our shortstop Isabella Daniels, and our third base Lexi Dureo. And then moving into the outfield, uh, left field we got Kenzie Denny, uh, left center is Chelsea Goddard, Maddie Shia in right center, and Nani Takahashi in right field. Let's get back to the action here. Pirates back up to the base at the bat. Strike one. On the topic of Nani Takahashi, I heard she recently won a children's book award. She wrote a child. She wrote and drew a child's book for Tri County Tech. Wow, so she got like a first place medal for it. That's amazing. Yeah. That is not a uh, easy feat. All right, we got a hit to left field here. Looks like we got our first base hit of the night. So we got a runner on first. All right, so we got number 15 coming up now from Preston. Ooh, that's swinging there. All right. Nice down the middle pitch by Mrs. Skalal. Second pitch. Oh, swung on, hit, pop up. Is it going to get in the gap? No, shortstop. Ran all the way out. Snags it. Isabella Daniels stops the runner from moving forward and gets the out. Yeah, good play. Even though baseball might move slow at some times, it can always change like just like that. So you always got to keep your eye on the, the ball. Correct. Oh, it was fouled. Great athletic play for the second out. Let's take a look at that play. Moving forward and gets the out. Yeah, good play. Even though baseball might move slow at some times, it can always change like just like that. So you always got to keep your eye on the, the ball. Correct. Oh, it was Chelsea Goddard. All right. Another shot right to Chelsea. Is she going to get there? Looks like. Oh, well. They had a little clash. Looks like a little bump out there. They ran into each other and they dropped the ball. Causing first to be taken and second to be taken as well. All right, so we got two outs right now, two runners on, first and second base. And first pitch is a ball. Getting into practice swings. Looks pretty good. Nice inside strike. If uh, William was here, he'd say the pitcher's taking the preparatory action. Yeah, <laughs> it's like <laughs> his coin little phrase. <laughs> it will be a foul ball for the Pirates here. We got the one-two, one-two pitch coming up. Chance right here to get out of this inning and get these girls off these bases. Got a shot out to left, caught, and we are off the field and ready to start batting here. Moving into our bottom of the second, the Bruins will be taking the offense. So who do we got coming up right now batting? I believe Savannah Alden is next up to bat. Okay, and then we got Isabella Daniels after that, followed by Chelsea Goddard. So we will see how... How those three ladies do. Hopefully, we can get some on, on base there and uh, maybe finish out the lineup. Yeah, that'd be fantastic, wouldn't it? All right, so. Our 
pirates out there getting their, their warm ups in. No. Savannah is ready to go. No, I thought that was Savannah. Alright. So Savannah Alden coming up to bat here, number twenty two. Yeah. Let's hopefully get a little bit more offense going this uh this inning and see see if we can't get some runners out there and maybe yeah. get some runs on the board. Nice hit oh, from Alden going up to the... Oh, off the fence. That's going to be a good hit. Thought about making it a double. Changed her mind. She's going to stay on first. Wise decision from Alden. Don't want to get too greedy. Oh, that was a good solid hit. All right, who we got coming up here? We got Isabel Daniels. Let's see if our shortstop can replicate that powerful hit. First strikes a ball. Let's see. See if she can hit one in the gap here, maybe get Savannah around. Right there you go, straight. Home run. Home run from Isabella Daniels, Lady Bruins shortstop. Boom, fantastic. That's be a two-run shot out to left center. Put the Bruins on the board. Right, fantastic. Well, already a little bit better than uh, last inning. Yeah. So we got two runs on the board, no outs yet. Up next is Chelsea Goddard. So I've known Chelsea for a little bit. She uh, ran cross country for me in middle school. Oh. Uh, realized once she got to high school that she did not want to do that anymore. <laughs> uh, started her career in softball and hasn't looked back since. And I don't blame her. That's a lot of running in uh, cross country. Yeah. Compared to a little three, ba four base run. <laughs> All right. Next up, we got Kenzie Denny. First shots is our first pitch is a strike. Straight Good to the shot, pitcher, right but the pitcher the could not right make the next glove. Look at that. All right, base hit. We'll take it. Up next is uh, Nani Takahashi, the critically acclaimed <laughs> book writer. So do you know, is that is that book available on Amazon? or? <laughs> I'm not sure yet. Barnes & Noble? So that way our fan base can go out there and... Make sure and get a copy. Maybe even bring it by the high school and get an autograph in it. Yeah. Went straight down to that gap you've been <laughs> hyping up. Absolutely. Got first and second loaded right now. Let's see if we can get all of them with uh, Lola Reddington. Lola can knock another homer here and get a three shot. Oh, she thought about it. Saw that shoulder dip. She was going to put a hurting on that ball. <laughs> Right in the gap again. It's almost like they found the, the weak spot right there. Base is loaded. Up next is Maddie Neighbor. Let's hope she can uh, bring at least one of them home. Yes. Maddie is, uh, I believe she's only a freshman. I think it was last year she ran, well, she was on my track team, and uh, she was one of our throwers. She actually did really good. Well, that makes sense. She's a she's a catcher for the <laughs> Lady Bruins. All right, so we're back at the top of the lineup. We got Maddie Shy back up. Base is still loaded, two outs. Right in that gap again, and they are going to get a run off of this one. And the bases stay loaded. A great shot. Now is Ali Scalal, Lady Bruins pitcher. Let's see if we can get this rally going. Maybe give everyone a, on the team a chance to hit that play and score. They're coming close to coming around the whole lineup. about it. 
Ooh, he liked it. He said it was on the outside of the plate. 2-1 pitch now. Oh, she liked it. Got it in the gap. There's another run scored. Bases oh. remain to be loaded here. Up next is uh, Lexi DeRayo. Let's see if she can get a nice little run here to pop in a base hit. Oh, hitting the gap. No, good athletic play by that left center fielder to get him out of the inning. Moving on to the bottom of the second now. Top of the top of the third now. Top, top of, of the, the third. third. Top of the third. Top of the morning to you, sir. <laughs> Bruins will be taking their defensive positions while the Pirates are going to get ready up to hopefully smack some balls. It's a, I'm gonna rephrase that later on, maybe not say that again. <laughs> yeah, looks like everybody's gathered at the uh, pitcher's mound there for some emotional support. Probably saying something along the lines like, even though we're ahead, you gotta keep it that way. You don't wanna get distracted. So you got to keep your head in the game until the game's over, right? Yep. Because at any moment, it can all change. Well, let's see what these Bru Lady Bruins can do today. Okay, first pitch. Oh, that can't be good. No, it says it's a ball. It says maybe it's short. Shot right to the pitcher, flip to first, and out. We'll take that for the first out. Not a lot yeah. of action on that, but. And now it's in and out. Once again, I mean, Allie was ready to go. She was right in the perfect position to make that play. 0-1 pitch. Oh, hit to Hits right it. field. Oh, oh, just barely caught it. Right, right off the glove. That's going to be a base hit on an error. Nani trying to make a basket catch, Willie Mays style. Didn't quite make it. Straight to the pitcher. That was a great shot right through there. She was there, just couldn't quite get the glove down in front of it in time. Got bases one and two loaded. Let's hope that the Bruins can stop them here. And yeah, they gotta, they gotta get out of here. It's a nasty spot to be in find ourselves in the exact same position that we were just in last, at the bottom of the second inning. There's a nice pop up. Looks like Mrs. Miss Galaw will catch that. All right, so we got two down now. First and second still, still loaded up. First pitch, oh. Can our third baseman make the play? No, it's going to be out of the fence. Can't quite get to it. Pitcher going back up to the mound. Oh, one pitch inbound. Oh, she likes that right down the third baseline. That's going to play. And we got to run around in third. That's going to score. Oh, well the second one's going to go ahead and score. Oh, is she? She's gonna stay at third. Or did that did that second one get out? I did not see it was out of my view. I could not tell exactly what happened. They must have thrown her out at third. Um, she must have tried to get that triple and got thrown out. Well, going but now to the bottom of the third for the Bruins. They're gonna be uh, locking in for their offense now while the Pirates are going to be on their defense. Yeah, they're going to, I think they're going to, if they make an adjustment, they're going to watch that gap where they've been hitting them right there in that. Probably have the second baseman. Yeah, <laughs> second baseman and the uh, outfielders probably close in a bit. Cheat over a little bit, help yeah. cover that gap that we've been kind of dominating there. 
They seem awfully close right now compared to where they could be. Yeah, you're right. I guess we'll watch that, that right center fielder and see where she goes. She's been playing kind of back and a little bit further to the right. We'll see if she slides over to more center and stays up close. And that's exactly what she's doing. Oh, she's definitely covering more center than she was. It's almost like she's directly in the center now. Mm -hmm. It's a bold move, Cotton. <laughs> Let's see. All right, first pitch. That's a great shot, man. She's almost like she knew exactly where it was going to go. She was already in position for it. That was the Savannah. I think so. Savannah Alden. Looks like Isabella Daniels right now. All right. That's a clean shot. That's going to go to left field. Back to the fence. And she, she drops it. All right. She's going gonna straight to third. Hoping the wheels she can on the third. slide in. Oh, she's, she's safe, safe at third. Safe at third. Nice. Uh, well played. Showcase of her athleticism. It's a good hustle. Yeah. Very quick. I looked up. She was at first. I looked down. <laughs> already at third. Turned on the heater, man. All right. Up now is Chelsea Goddard. Chelsea didn't like that first pitch. That's good. That was way outside. Second pitch also outside. It's almost like they're trying to pitch out to her. They don't want her to hit. Where she right in the anyways. gap. Oh. Hopefully she can get that first. Good play. We still get a run scored. Bruins now up by three. Yeah, that's a nice little RBI stat for Chelsea. Now next up is Kinsey Denny. Let's see what Kinsey can do here. Here's a ball. Too high. Second pitch. Strikes, we one one count. Got nice right to the there. shortstop. Yeah. Just she could beats not it. make it. Going on to the top of the fourth now. Well at least we got one run. Yeah. At inning. least we we're still up. But the pirates are now slowly creeping up. Let's hope in this inning we can stop them and keep them where they are. Yeah, I like the fact that all except last inning, you know, we've been able to keep them three and out. Yeah. Keep that good rhythm, keep them off the off out of the batter's box at least. Let's hope that they don't end up taking first or second, getting two bases. Wanna keep it known. I mean, for the most part our defense has been doing a really good job. They've they found themselves in pretty good positions each time. Made a couple of really nice athletic plays out there as well to stop some momentum. Ooh. Ooh. Bounces off her bat and hits the ump in his shoulder. Ump's going to need a little Motrin tonight. <laughs> See, the <laughs> See the Bruins are, the Lady Bruins in the outfield seem to him, uh, not to cover that gap, but who knows, maybe yeah. they they have a plan. There's a shortstop, first base, boom, first out. Yeah, they're leaving a pretty good gap there in center. Uh, I guess they're not, I guess they're trusting that they have some speed out there in the outfield to be able to cover that if the shot gets in there. Goes out to, to right center, second, third, shortstop running out there. So is that center fielder? Looks like Chelsea Goddard made that play. Left center field. Second now. Oh, no, she didn't make that play. That was a base hit. Goes straight up. Let's Almost see if uh, second base can catch this and get her out. Must have dropped that out there. I thought Chelsea had that ball. Already uh, just started the top of the fourth inning. We already got two outs. Nice little fast pace from the defense here and the offense. First pitch was a ball, second pitch. We like that. That's right on the outside of the plate. One, one, 
pitch. Second baseman makes a great play, flips it to the shortstop for the out. Fantastic. Moving on to the bottom of the fourth now. Bruins will be taking the offense and hopefully scoring. Let's hope our bats have remained as hot as they've been. And we're starting to hit that part of the lineup again where we really, really started getting some runners on and putting some points on the board. I think we're going to start off with uh, Takahashi, right? I believe that's so. where we should be starting off. I think uh, Demi was the last batter we had in the last inning. So we'll start off with Nani Takahashi, claimed children's artist yeah. and writer. We'll have to find out before the next game exactly where you and when you can find that book to help support her and her journey to become a illustrator and author. Yeah. Jordan Deck giving her some last minute pointers before she bats. First pitch definitely inside. Almost hits her. I think it's a curveball. I think <laughs> so. <laughs> Pirates are little little tricksters. It's hard hard to see the movement on the ball from up here. Oh, right in that gap again. Great hit by Nani. All right, we'll take that base hit, starting this off. Oof. She got the second. Sneaky. Sneaky play. Taking some notes from the Pirates with their <laughs> sneakiness. Excellent. Next up is a... Lola Reddington. Got no outs, 1-0. Got a runner on second. Got a shot right in the gap by Lola. Going to advance our runners. Oh, Nani's coming. Nope. Nani's going to stay. Lola's going to get to second. We have runners at third and second there. Now is a play. coming up to bat Maddie Naylor. See if Maddie can get a couple RBIs here. So that was a little long. Ball one. Oop, everybody better stay at home. There we go. One out. Oh, got her. Well, Nani at least scored, I think. Yeah, we got yeah. the one score, but unfortunately, had the two outs. Coming Sorry. up now is uh, Maddie Shia. 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 <laughs> Great shot in the left center field right over the shortstop's head. She's going to make it to second, hopefully, yeah. yeah. Nice stand-up play there. Start of another rally here. Skalal will be coming up to bat. Hopefully take first base. Well, there's a big gap right now between right center field and right yeah. field. Yes, and so if they can drop one in there. Guaranteed. Uh, especially right over the second baseman's head, get a nice rolling ball to the fence. Uh, they can probably, she can probably get a triple out of that or maybe even more. Definitely score one runner. to walk call uh, Maddie in or Allie, Allie. three one pitch watches it through go ahead and take her base that first and second loaded right now let's see if we can get all of them now is uh, Lexi uh, Dureo. In the gap. Oh, shortstop misses it. They're going to go for oh, it. Oh, she does not make it. And we get out of the inning. It was a good effort. Great inning formed by the Lady Bruins here. 
going into the top of the fifth now. I like their aggressiveness. Yeah, they're very, you know, they, they definitely don't hold back. Like, if, if they feel they got a shot at a base, they're going to take it. They are not remotely hesitating. That can benefit them, but that can also not work in their favor, as we've just seen here. But it seems most of the time it's benefiting. So far, so good. So right? far, so good. Bruins will be taking their defensive positions. Right now, having a nice little chat with the pitcher at the mound. Showing some of that positive, you know, <laughs> encouragement. Saying, stay the course, stay the course. Three up, three down. Get out of the inning. Pirates is uh, getting ready to head to the batting area. Steps in the box. Doesn't like the first pitch. It'll be a strike. Pitch swung on right over the third baseman's head out into left field. That is going to play. The runner's going to easily be stowed up at second base. No outs, one runner on. Seems we got our first left handed batter of the night. We sure do. Let's see how uh, Allie deals with the lefty. Pitches her inside on the first one for a ball. First strike. It can be quite difficult to pitch to an opposite, you know, handed batter. The, the stripe box has a tendency to kind of change for you and which way you're going to throw your pitches. I was going to go ahead and uh, get her out. Yeah, because, like, most of the time going to be a ball probably. It's going to lean the wrong way. But thankfully, there's no more left-handed batters. <laughs> Back to it right-handed. So Allie can uh, now focus on to the <laughs> right-handed batter. Get back to yeah. her game plan. There she goes. See, she likes pitching that outside outside edge of that base. And against that left left-handed batter, it it's a little bit too inside, yeah. you know, and it's hard for her to hit that. Oof. Two two pitch here. One runner on, one out. Nice Pop hit up, up to the right left. center. Nice job. Good catch by right center tonight. Maddie Shia. Yep. Shia. Shia. Maddie Shia. I'll Good get player. it one of these times. I may even be pronouncing it incorrectly. I thought it, that's how I thought I understood it. If I am incorrect on it, I do apologize. We got one runner on, two outs, a one pitch. Should be a ball. One one right now. One ball, one strike. Oh, great play. Right to Alley. Good athleticism. The end of the top for the fifth. We're going into the bottom now. Bruins are again gonna probably perform with a lot of power, but Hopefully they do. Let's see where are we at now. I think we're probably back to the top now, but if not, probably Maddie Neighbor. That's going to be Savannah Alden. I stand corrected. <laughs> I knew we'd got through a couple of the top, but I just couldn't remember how far we went down in the top of the lineup. Remember, kids, always bring a pin to work with you so you can make notes. So not only do you get to watch a game, you get a life lesson as well. Yeah. That's free. 
<laughs> nice hit by uh, Alden here. Goes out to the right field. The base hit. Got caught. Oh. Next up to bat is Isabella Daniels, our shortstop. She's going to go ahead and hit into the previous gap, but it looks like left center. Oh, it dropped over her head. She over pursued it and it went over the top of her. So that's going to be a base hit. Coming up is uh, Chelsea Goddard. Pitch inside. It's going to be a ball. Powerful hit by her. Got a dinker so. to left field. Caught. Screen on this window is really hard to see for me. Yeah. <laughs> Once again, there's still that new created gap by the Pirates in the outfield. Yeah, I guess we really haven't hit much that far into to right center. Just like that, the bottom of the fifth is over and we're going into the top of the sixth now. The game is moving very quickly. Very quickly. <laughs> it's only been about 30 minutes here? About 30 minutes, yes sir. Bruins still remain in the lead with a 6-2. to two. Hope we can keep it that way with Bruins on defense now. Allie's getting her pitches in. Looking nice. Looking uh, real straight down the line. Nothing fancy. Good textbook pitch. All right, here we go. Pirates are in the batter's box. We are ready to start sixth inning. First pitch is swung on, hit to right center. Caught and out. That was Maddie Diagon. Batter number two is now in the box, ready to go. First pitch will be a ball. Pitch swung on, hit the third. Went straight to first, and she is out. Good play by Lexi over there at third base. Get that second out for us. Two up, two down. Let's see if the Lady Bruins can finish this out with this batter here. Way outside on that one for a ball. Strike over right down the middle. I don't think she was ready for that one. A little foul ball. Came flying towards the screen here. Could have been a souvenir for one lucky fan if that fan wasn't or that screen wasn't there. One two pitch swung on hit to left field, and it is out of the park. That is going to be a run, home run for the Pirates. Making the game 3-6. Pirates taking the field. It's like a little celebration for their teammate. Nice sportsmanship. That was a good two-out shot for the batter. We just cut our lead down a little bit. But it looks like, oh, never mind. Chop shot to right center. Maddie decides to let it take a hop instead of over pursuing it, which is actually kind of smart. Keeps the runner on, doesn't let the ball get behind her. See if uh, Allie can strike out this batter tonight. We haven't had any strikeouts tonight. I don't think so. We no, we not. just. I'd like to see one right about now. Oh, 
right into the gap between shortstop and third. I'm going to advance the runners. We've got first and second loaded right now. So two runners on, two outs. Top of the sixth. Three to six. The uh, the batter right here representing the tying score. Let's uh, hope we can not see that come to fruition and get out of this inning. Good. Strike two. Let's see if Allie can just catch this girl watching. Nope. Swung on. It's going to be a pop up, and the catcher is ready, and we are out of this inning. Nice catch by Maddie Neighbor. We're going into the bottom of the sixth now. Good heads up play. That's three runs that effectively were left out there on the on the field, which is really good. So well done by the Lady Bruins. Bottom of the six here. We need to get some more runs to get a little bit more cushion. So if you were the, the Pirates coach, what do you think you could change strategically that, um, that might, I don't know, catch the Lady Bruins a little bit off guard? I'm I'm not sure. I know I'll probably just say what we've all been saying. What we've both been saying is the gap, mind the gaps, mm -hmm. you know. Um, focus more on the ball than the batter. I feel like they might just be focusing on the batter and, like, I don't know. Just mind the, ba mind the gap. Mind the gap. Just like I if just you ever ride the tube over in Europe, you know. You go over there to London, you hear that every time you get on the subway. Mind the gap. It applies to almost everything. Really? Oh, who we got up here? We got Takahashi up again. Got the sitting on a 2 0 pitch. Swung on. That's going to hit right into that gap. Nope. Second baseman was there to make the play. I think uh, Lanani just needed a little bit more pepper behind that ball to yeah. get it to drop in there. Now is uh, Lola Reddington, our second baseman. She hits it to third, but third gets it and goes straight to first, getting Lola out. Well Quick two outs by the Pirates. Not really what we were looking to do. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> but let's hope uh, Maddie Neighbor can change the outcome of this inning. First one will be a ball. Pitch. Gonna watch it in. This is gonna be ball number two. Got a foul ball there. Foul tip. Looked like she was a little bit behind on that swing. Got a swing earlier. Swing before you think you can swing. Watch that come in. This one definitely loves the outside that plate. At least he's been consistent about it. Goes straight to shortstop. He's gonna throw it to, she's going to throw it to first and go ahead and wrap up the sixth inning, moving into the top of the seventh now. Now does slow pitch softball have nine innings or do they just have seven innings? Yeah, seven just like, uh, just just like the baseball games oh, okay. for high school. Yep. Well, this has moved a lot faster than <laughs> <laughs> it sure has. So we are effectively three outs away right now from locking this game up and, and taking home a, a W for this first game of the evening. Let's hope that Ali Skowal can uh, just go ahead and get these first three batters out. That's it. We'll nine nine a pitches, nine strikes. It would be a nice uh, turn of events. Yeah, that'd be a that'd be a good write up on Sports Source. Yeah, you know, 
close out a game with nine pitches and nine strikes? Well, for those of you out there that don't know, you can always go to BruinSportsSource.com. It's your number one source for all things Bruin Sports. When you need to know something about Bruin Sports, go to the source at BruinSportsSource.com. Hit goes to third. She's going to throw it to first and oh, not gonna get her. Misses the catch. But she's going to end up getting a, a double out of that. Got second base loaded as of now. Hope that um, uh, that will be the only base loaded tonight in this seventh inning. Strike, nice pitch. Two more. Right in the gap. Oh, skips and gets past Chelsea. We're going to get a run scored here. Batter's going to make it to second. They're slowly creeping up. We have still no outs. A one run scored in this inning and a runner on second base. This is not how we want to close out this game. Nice pitch by Allie here. Getting a strike. So if you're enjoying watching uh, Bruin Sports from home, uh, we do have a couple more uh, events coming up. Uh, we're going to have another game this evening, uh, softball game. This is a doubleheader. Uh, the Bruins will be playing Claremore. Um, and then tomorrow night, uh, we will be over at Dungeness Field, or Rigdon Field at Dungeness Stadium, uh, where we will be watching the Bruins play Stillwater. So go ahead and give us a like and subscribe for tonight's and tomorrow's broadcast. That's right. Make sure you subscribe because that way you don't miss out on any of the Bruin action. And with that play right there, the Bruins are able to get out of this game and take a, take a first win for the evening uh, against the Preston Pirates with a score of 6-4. to four. All right. We will be back with you. Uh, a little bit later when the Bruins take on the Claremore Zebras. Thanks for joining us. Uh, once again, I am Scott Vermeer. I'm Xavier Rogers. And, and thank you for listening. Yeah.